just pushing it to five. They win set number four, 25 to 23. Hey Coyote fans, welcome into the Coyote Volleyball Show presented by Scooter's Coffee. South Dakota coming off of a 2-0 week. They went 1-0 twice with a road victory at St. Thomas and then a home win over at North Dakota. And to talk about it, here is the uh, head coach of the Coyotes, Leon Williamson. Coach, uh, important, uh, important stretch, I thought, for your team. You go on the road, the quick turnaround for a home match, and it, obviously the team handled it well, able to get a sweep in, in both of those matches this week. Yeah, and honestly, I think the St. Thomas one was obviously the first challenge in terms of we had just come off of a really tough road trip. So to be here for two days, get back on the road again, um, and to, to play an opponent's gym, you know, we knew it was going to be difficult in some ways. And honestly, it looked like it. Our first set was pretty... Um, um, ugly, maybe to say the least. Uh, defensively, we did a lot of really good things. I think even serve and pass, just we had a really hard time getting into any sort of a rhythm offensively. Got better as the match went on, and that's when you saw the scores kind of even out a little bit in terms of what we thought should have happened. So um, happy with that with that sweep. Again, anytime you're on the road, anytime you can take care of business in three, we're going to be really happy. And then be able to come home, got back late that night, you know, one uh, day of practice when everyone is pretty tired. We had a good day of practice and um, felt good with how we competed from start to finish against North Dakota. Um, we didn't necessarily have the best start in any of those sets, um, but at the same time we did rotate our lineup a little bit and um, had some different people start in the front row, so we kind of knew it might have happened. Um, but the nice thing is once we got going, I think it evened itself out. You talked about the practice in between, and it's obviously the short turnaround. Do you change that practice? It's always a wild card. You don't know what team's going to show up for that particular practice yeah. and, and how the focus will be because that's a, that's a tough stretch. Well, I mean, we've been talking a lot about the intangibles these last couple of weeks and, um, you know, even talked about it in film, you know, just what we could control going into practice. And I felt like um, they did a really good job of pinpointing about two things that we felt like were measurable for ourselves, um, you know, during and after the practice. And um, that that practice we kept pretty short. It was about an hour from start to finish. Um, and we just felt like that was the best thing for our team at that point in time. Did a little bit of defense, a little bit of serve and pass, as always, um, and actually a little bit of offensive work. So we felt like that was something that we struggled with on Thursday night so handled it well they did a really good job of I think getting better that day um, which can be hard in those those pregame practices when you're going in between um, but uh, again we felt really good going into Saturday's match because of that practice. You mentioned slow starts to some of these sets and, and you, you kind of have to battle that a little bit you go that was an ugly way to win or is an ugly start but a win is a win how do you try to balance those two appreciate it obviously because it's a win but use it as a teaching tool well, you know, I think number one, the season is long. You know, the season can be really tough and it's a grind at times. And yes, as a coach, you always want to see us play a little bit better. You always want to see a little bit of a higher level of volleyball. But the really good teams are ones that can find ways to win when you're not even playing your best. And um, with the season being the way it is, with the travel the way it can be, um, that's important. You know, just because we don't feel good, just because we're, you know, more tired or um, sore, whatever it may be, that can't be a reason why we don't you know, find ways. And, um, you know, I think this season, you know, I was looking back and I think there's been games that we've won because of our offense. I think there's been day, uh, matches that we've won because of our defense. And I think in some ways there's been matches we won because of our serve and pass. So really looking at it, I like that we're able to win in different ways and uh, we're able to rely on different people throughout. It's not always the same one or two people that has to step up and do that for us. Um, and I think that says a lot about what this team can accomplish as we progress through the finish of the season. In your mind, as you've watched these games back, obviously sweep, so a lot of things went well, but what really went well for your team to be able to uh, dominate the way they did? I think we served well. Um, you know, maybe not the first set of St. Thomas. I felt like they passed pretty well in that set, but I think the second and the third and then all three against North Dakota, um, I thought we served the ball really well. So we actually gave ourselves, uh, gave our defense a really good opportunity to play at a really high level. Um, so that was really good to see. And then I think our middles have been really um, dominant in a, in a lot of ways. You know, Harms obviously has been pretty consistent throughout the season, um, but this weekend she was incredible. Her number 
numbers were really good. Um, and I think Bryn really stepped up and has been stepping up as of late um, to just be more of that consistent force, you know, opposite harm. So to have, you know, six rotations again where we have somebody in the front row that we feel like can score the ball and block the ball at a high rate, it, it helps our team a lot. It is opening some other things up for us um, and something that I, I'm happy to have clicking right now um, as we progress through. It feels like the confidence for this group has continued to grow the last couple of weeks. I think they just see themselves having success, you know, and the, the more you see yourselves do it, the more you feel yourselves having that success, it makes a difference. And, um, you know, again, to see ourselves be able to pull out wins when we're not playing our best, you know, to see ourselves win when we are playing our best. And honestly, even sometimes to lose close, close matches when we feel like, we did play really well and we had moments where we didn't maybe play up to our standards. I think every single opportunity is just teaching us more about ourselves and what we're able to control and I mean just how dominant this team can be when we have everything you know firing together. So we know that there's still things that we can get better at uh, but if we can get everything rolling in the same direction at the same time this is going to be a really um, hard team to beat. South Dakota has three games, three matches left in the regular season. Two of them coming up this week at home. We'll talk about those matches coming up in just a little bit with Coach Leanne Williamson. Coming up next on the Kyle Volleyball Show, Bryn Palman will join us and we'll talk to her about this season and her growth in Coyote Volleyball. That's on the way. This is the Coyote Volleyball Show presented by Scooter's Coffee. The Coyote Volleyball Show is brought to you by Scooter's Coffee. Scooter's Coffee, amazing drinks, amazing people, amazingly fast. Arms with 10 kills and three total blocks. He's been outstanding for South Dakota. Big shot there comes from Madison Harms. And not much St. Thomas can do. A second serve. Haley now Ricard blocked by Sealock. Sobel was there to keep it up. She can't do it a second time as the block came there from Harms and Lotion. Serving is Maddie Johnson. Received by Vogel, Louis Hunt. Now Gustafson, but a big block comes from Palman and Van Hook. Palman got the bulk of it to get the Coyotes up to 20, and Tank Fom and the Tommies need a timeout. It was Palman with that left hand. Lena Wolf back to serve. USD McCormick there. Differently. Pushes the other side to Norris. That one is blocked by Van Hook and Palman. And the Coyotes claim the lead 16 15. The right side tipped by North Dakota Norris. Tack blocked by Lotion. Joust at the net. One by Madison Arms and put down. Oh my goodness. The smile on Leah Williamson's face there after that point. Oh my god. Her team down one here. Up and over. Seelock. And look, set dunk from her. Nobody saw that one coming and she hasn't done that all day. The KO Volleyball Show is brought to you by Scooter's Coffee. Scooter's Coffee. Amazing drinks. Amazing people. Amazingly fast. Back in the KO Volleyball Show. It's great to have you for another episode. We're joined this week by Bryn Palman, who of course is a middle blocker for the Coyote volleyball team. Bryn, you look at your season. It has uh, gone through some ups and downs and, and lately has been a really good stretch for this volleyball team. How would you describe the ebbs and flows of the season? Um, I think it's just kind of a, it speaks to the conference and what kind of teams are in the conference. And I think the fluctuations just kind of show like how um, determine these teams are to beat us and it's been really fun you know to be pushed um, and sometimes we're pushed to the point where we're unfortunately losing these matches but um, good lessons to learn you know big takeaways and then we come right back to practice and we get back to work. Get back to work is always important because you're always trying to get better. How do you describe the growth of this team this year? It's been a mix of some veterans who have significant experience and some younger players who have gained experience this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do have a big mix, and I, I think that uh, our upperclassmen, we do a good job of um, being examples to the younger girls and also uh, just being steady and being calm on the court. I think that's big, especially when uh, a mistake is made to just go back to our huddle and just reset and 
yeah, I think a lot of the younger girls have stepped up. You know, they're playing on the court. They're doing great. And, yeah, I'm really proud just to see the team, you know, how we've progressed so far. So it's been really good. What have you focused on individually the last couple of seasons as you've tried to continue to, to not only grow your role but continue to grow as a leader for this team? Mm -hmm. um, I think leading by example is a big thing for me. Um, I'm not usually a big person for words, but when I am, I think I have something pretty good to say sometimes. <laughs> But I think I lead by example, the way that um, my presence is on the court. Um, so yeah, I just try to do that, remain calm and just kind of be there, you know, if anyone has a question um, so that I could provide good feedback to them. Talk about your, uh, you know, your approach when the other team is trying to set up their attack and your approach on, on where you're going to try to get to, to to get a block and some of that, just how, how do you kind of sort that out with your eyes? Mm -hmm. It's got to be very quick, obviously, but sort yes. that out so you can try to be in the right spot. Yeah, so that's actually something I've been working on lately, um, my eye work. It's the most important thing to me because um, that sets up um, where you're going to go. You can't guess. You're going to be late if you're going to guess. So. To me, going back to the basics, which is your eye work, um, it's a huge thing. And it really helps me to eye, untie these knots that I have in my brain, because I will have these mental barriers, but um, very good to work on it. And it just really helps you to be explosive. Um, get your hands over low and, of course, be terminal. So. I know our fans always appreciate the, the Bryn slide attack and the, the big uh, attack in that way. What's more fun for you, that big kill or the big block? I think it's really close. Um, I would have to say blocking, just being able to say, like, no to someone. Um, and I don't know, it's just a, a big momentum thing, too. It can definitely change the game and uh, something that I've been – fortunate to be good at. I've been kind of a natural blocker, but uh, I would definitely have to say blocking. Do you ever give the finger wag when you deny someone? Um, <laughs> you want to, right? I think right? I've, I've been sassy in the past. <laughs> I think last year I um, stared down one of the opposing middles. Um, so yeah, I can have some sass, but I try to just, I don't know. Not. Some might call it sass, others will call it confidence. Mm -hmm. Speaking of confidence, three games left here in the uh, regular mm -hmm. season for your team as you close in on the Summit League tournament. What do you want to see out of this group the next three games to feel like this team is, is close to its best when you get to the Summit League tournament? Mm -hmm. um, I just think doing the little things right. I don't think we need to overcomplicate the game. Uh, I think when we do that, we get a little too far ahead of ourselves and we try to do things um, extra and I think at this point in the season volleyball is volleyball we just need to do um, the basic you know get a good pass set it up you know and have a good attack and um, if we're not terminal with that to be able to defend and I think we've been defending at really high levels too so I think just doing the basics and not over complicating it will um, set us up for a lot of success with our last three uh, games that we have left. Well, we're looking forward to it and uh, wish you all the best, not only this week, but the rest of the season as well. Thanks so much for the time. Thank you, John. Thanks. All right. That's Bryn Palman joining us here on the Coyote Volleyball Show. Coming up next, we'll chat with Coach Leanne Williamson about what's to come this week for South Dakota Volleyball. That's on the way. This is the Coyote Volleyball Show presented by Scooter's Coffee. The Coyote Volleyball Show is brought to you by Scooter's Coffee. Scooter's Coffee, amazing drinks, amazing people, amazingly fast. Back in the Kyle Volleyball Show presented by Scooter's Coffee. We're visiting with head volleyball coach Leanne Williamson. South Dakota back at home for a couple of matches this week. The Coyotes will take on Oral Roberts on Thursday and then North Dakota State on Saturday afternoon and into the evening. Coach, uh, you look ahead at, at uh, Oral Roberts here. Obviously, it wasn't that long ago that you played Oral Roberts because they that was one of the teams that you'd played yeah. other teams a couple of times before meeting them. But uh, you see Oral Roberts now at home. 
What do you uh, see out of the Golden Eagles and what your team needs to accomplish Thursday? Yeah, well, I do think they're a little bit different than some of the other teams in the league. So there's been times where I think teams have needed some time to adjust um, to what they're doing. But um, I think after seeing them the first time, playing them, finding ways to win in that scenario, um, I feel good about the fact that we're back home. We're a little bit more aware. Um, I think we understand kind of what some of those main keys are, which I don't think are very different necessarily than what we were thinking about that first time around. But I think a little bit more specific um, where we can hone in a little bit more and, and find ways to have success early on. And then North Dakota State on Saturday, and you know, as you, they're all important, but as you close in closer to that Summit League tournament, I know these, these matches each get that much more important. Yeah, I mean, obviously winning up there in five, um, it was a really tough battle um, from start to finish. And then um, they've been playing really, really well um, the second half of conference. So, um, you know, I would expect a really, really tough match out of them. But obviously glad we're at home, glad we're in front of our fans. Hopefully a lot of people from football game will come over and, and help celebrate us as well. Um, and it's senior night and something that we're looking forward to um, honoring those people that have done so much for our program. So uh, I, I do think that their outsides are playing really Really well. I think their system works really well for them. Um, so we're ready when we get to that point. We still got to go one and zero on Thursday. Um, but just being that second time through, I feel like we're a little bit more prepared. I always think senior night can be quite interesting because it can be a very emotional few minutes uh, for you, for some of the players, mm -hmm. and then you got to quickly get in, get that game face back on. But it's an interesting challenge. Well, the nice thing is, is actually just last year, we switched it up a little bit where we play the match and then we honor our seniors afterwards. And um, I, I love this group, you know, and I, I think being able to give them that recognition that they deserve is really important. But um, we also have a big group of them, you know, so to be able to fully honor them and to give them their time, we feel like we're able to do a little bit more after the match. So um, after the match, if people are there, I hope people stick around and, and help us celebrate them. I think it'll be a great night um, being able to, again, celebrate the successes that they've had. Um, not only as volleyball players, but as um, athletes and in school. We keep talking about the jumbled Summit League standings. Uh, at the time we're doing this, there's one team with three losses in the league. There's four teams with four losses in the league. It's really coming down to the end here. It is, uh, and we kind of saw this happening as the season progressed. You know, we felt as a staff that the winner is probably going to have no less than three losses. So, so far, we've been uh, pretty spot on with that. Um, but I think it just shows how even a lot of these teams are and just how important every single match is. So that one and no mentality keeps coming up. And uh, it's just, it's fun, though, too. It's fun that you know you're going to get a good match every single night, and anybody can beat anybody. You know, there's a lot that can still go down here in the Summit League in the next two to three matches for everybody and I think it's going to make for a great Summit League tournament as well. This will be a, the second time this season where you have that stretch where you go Thursday, Saturday, Tuesday. Mm -hmm. uh, so it'll be a, an interesting stretch. It'll be nice though to have these first two at home. Yeah, I, I think being at home right now is really one of the most important things of so being able to um, sleep in our own beds, get into a routine for them to go to class. You know, their academics are so important to them that um, it's nice that we don't have to take them out of any more school this week. Um, but, you know, at the same time, it's a quick trip up to Brookings and, you know, we'll be ready for that challenge as well. What do you need to see out of your group this week against uh, Oral Roberts and uh, to go 1-0 and, and, and just keep pushing forward? You know, I, I'm going to kind of go off of what I normally say, um, go off script a little bit. I, I think Serve and Pass has been really good for us, so obviously we have to continue that. But I'd li really like to see our offense clean up a little bit. Um, you know, I do think these last few matches, I think our defense has done a pretty good job. I think our Serve and Pass has been pretty good overall. Um, but we've got to find ways to score the ball a little bit more efficiently. We have the right, we have the right personnel. We have the right tools to be able to do it. Um, we just got to do it a little bit more consistently in our own gym so that that's playing over into game situations. All right, have a great week, and thanks for the time. Thank you. That's Coach Leanne Williamson, the Kyle Volleyball team at home, Thursday night against Oral Roberts. Get your tickets at goyotes.com, and then Saturday, the Kyle Volleyball team takes on North Dakota State at 4 o'clock. Football plays at noon. Head on over after the football game to watch Coyote Volleyball and celebrate senior night with Coyote Volleyball. That's going to do it for us for this episode. This has been the Coyote Volleyball Show presented by Scooters Coffee. The KO Volleyball Show is brought to you by Scooter's Coffee. Scooter's Coffee, amazing drinks, amazing people, amazingly fast.